B equal to U plus AT, S equal to UT plus half AT squared, V squared equal to U squared plus two AS. In this, uh, we have studied about momentum, which is mass into velocity and change in momentum is mass into final velocity minus initial velocity. And then we have seen rate of change of momentum is mass into acceleration. Even force is called as mass into acceleration. So we will be using these formulas to solve the question. Number one, a body of mass five kilogram is moving with a velocity two meter per second. Calculate its linear momentum. So mass is five kilogram, velocity is two meter per second. What will be the momentum? So momentum is mass into velocity is five into two. So that is 10, 10 kg meter per second. That's the answer. The linear momentum of a ball of mass 50 grams, mass 50 gram, and uh, momentum is given to be 0 0.5 kg meter per second. What will be the velocity of this ball? So momentum is mass into velocity. So momentum is 0 0.5. Now this is given in kilogram and the mass is given in gram. So mass, which is 50, will be 50 over 1000 into V. So this will be 5 ones are 520. So therefore, it is 0 0.5 into 20 will be V. So V will be equal to 10 meter per second. Force of 15 Newton acted on a body of mass 2 kilogram. So mass is 2 kilogram. Calculate the acceleration produced. Okay, so we are using this formula. F is equal to M into A. This is 15 is 2 into A. So 15 over 2 is A. So A is 7.5 meter per second squared. A force of 10 Newton acts on a body of mass 5 kilogram. Find the acceleration produced. F is equal to M into A. 10 is 5 into A. A is 10 over 5. That is 2 meter per second square. Produces an acceleration of 5 meter per second square. So they are asking how much will be the force. F is equal to M A. So 0 0.5 into 5, so that will be 2.5 Newton. A force of 10 Newton acts on a body of mass 2 kilograms for 3 seconds, initially at rest. So therefore, I will take U as 0. You have to calculate the velocity acquired by the body. That means we have to find V. And we also have to calculate the change in momentum. That is delta P. Okay, so we know that F is equal to M into A, that 10 is equal to 2 into A. This will be 5 meter per second squared. Now we know that acceleration is V minus U over T. So this is 5, this is V, this is 0. Initial velocity we know is 0. And time is also given to us as 3 seconds. So therefore, 5 is equal to V upon 3. V is 5 into 3. So velocity is 15 meter per second. Change in momentum is mass into V minus U. So here we get uh, mass is two, and this is 15 minus zero. That is 30 kg meter per second as a change in momentum. Question seven, force act for 10 seconds on a stationary body of mass 100 kilograms, after which the force ceases to act Distance covered is 100 meters in five seconds after the force has stopped acting. We have to calculate the velocity acquired by the body, acceleration produced by the force, and magnitude of the force. Over here, one has to understand that this body was initially at velocity zero, experiences a force, okay, for time equal to 10 seconds. At the end of 10 seconds, its velocity, we have to find that. But they have said from here, the body covers a distance of 100 meters in five seconds. Now at this particular instant over here, there is no force acting on the body. 
that means acceleration is zero. You need to keep in mind that F is equal to M into A. So that is when F is equal to zero, A equal to zero, because M is not zero, mass is not zero. So that means once the force ceases to act, the body does move without acceleration. That means with constant velocity. So we take speed equal to distance upon time, and that is 100 upon five, that is 20 meters per second. And this is our first answer that the velocity acquired is 20 meter per second. Now comes the second part, they want acceleration. Acceleration is V minus U over T. Since final velocity is 20, initial velocity is zero, and time we will take 10 seconds because that is when the body was accelerating. So 20 upon 10, and acceleration is two meter per second squared. So this is the acceleration. And the third part is very straightforward. We calculate force. So force is M into A, mass is 100, acceleration is two, F is equal to 200 Newton. The information provided is the velocity and time graph and mass is given to be 100 grams. So 100 gram will be equal to one by 10, that is 0 0.1 kilogram. Question is uh, asking us to calculate force. The formula of a force that we know is mass into acceleration. Mass we have, now we need acceleration. In the previous topic, we have studied that the slope of velocity time graph gives acceleration. To find the slope, we need coordinates. So we can take this coordinate, that is 5 comma 20. We can take the origin, 0 and 0. So the slope, which is acceleration, is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So that is 20 over 5, which is 4 meter per second squared. That is acceleration. So now we calculate force, which is mass into acceleration. And mass is 0 0.1. Acceleration is 4. So F is 0 0.4 Newton. Question 9. A force causes an acceleration of 10 meter per second square in a body of mass 500 grams. So mass is 500 gram. So that will be 500 upon 1000. That is 0 0.5 kilogram. What acceleration will be caused by the same force in a body of mass 5 kg? So acceleration will be how much when the mass is 5 kilogram? So we use the first information. Let us call it as A1 and M1. We calculate F. So F is equal to M1 into A1. That is 0 0.5 multiplied by 10. And that will be 5 Newton. So we need F is equal to M2 into A2. And that will be 5 Newton. This will be 5 and this will be A. So 5 over 5 is A. A is equal to 1 meter per second square. So that means uh, with the first condition, we got X, uh, the force is 5 Newton, and when the same force of 5 Newton is applied to this body, what will be the acceleration produced? A cricket ball of mass 150 grams. So this is 150 grams, 150 divided by 1000. So that will be 3 by 2, uh, 3 by 20 kilograms. So moving at a speed of 25 meter per second is brought to rest. So final velocity is zero by a player in 0 0.03 seconds. So time is 0 0.03 seconds. This can be written as three over 100 seconds. We have to find the average force applied by the player. So force is question mark. The formula that we aware about, force is rate of change of momentum. And momentum is mass into final velocity minus initial velocity. Okay, so let us substitute these values. Mass is, 3 upon 20, final velocity is 0, initial velocity is 25, and time is 3 upon, and this 3 and this 3 get cancelled, 100, and this is minus 25, and this is 20. 20 goes Pfizer, so that will be negative 125, so the answer F is equal to negative 125 Newton. Question 11. A force act for 0 0.1 second on a body of mass 2 kilograms initially at rest. So the force is then withdrawn and the body moves with a velocity 2 meter per second. So final velocity is 2 meter per second. Calculate the magnitude of force. So 2 minus 0 
upon 0 0.1. So this will be 20 meter per second squared. F is equal to M into A. That will be 2 into 20. F will be 40 Newton. A body of mass 500 grams. So that is 500 over 1000, which is half kilogram. Initially at rest, is acted upon by a force which causes it to move a distance of 4 meters in 2 seconds. S is equal to 4 meters, T is equal to 2 seconds. Calculate the magnitude of force. Now we will use U, S and T to get the value of A. Uh, we have the formula S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. So this is 4, 0 into 2 plus half into A into 2 squared. So this will get cancelled. So you have 4 is equal to 2 into A. Therefore, A is 4 upon 2. A is 2 meter per second squared. F is equal to M into A, half into 2. F will be 1 Newton. A car of mass 480 kilograms is moving with a speed of 54 kilometer per hour. So U is equal to 54 kilometer per hour. That will be 54 into 5 upon 18, that is 3 into 5, 15 meter per second. It is stopped by applying brakes. So V is equal to 0 in 10 seconds. So T is equal to 10 seconds. Calculate the force applied. So F is equal to question mark. Okay, again, uh, we can calculate A using this formula. So that will be 0 minus 15 upon 10. So that will be negative 1.5 meter per second squared. We want to calculate force, which is mass into acceleration. That will be 480 into 1.5, 720 Newton. A car is moving with a uniform velocity, 30 meter per second. It is stopped in two seconds. So V is equal to zero. T is equal to two seconds by applying a force of 1,500 Newton. Calculate the change in momentum of the car. They are asking us to calculate the retardation and the C is mass of the car. Now we know that change in momentum. How do we do that? We don't have mass, but we know the formula. F is delta P upon T. So this is 1,500 delta P and time is two seconds. So therefore change in momentum is 1,500 into two. 3000 kg meter per second. The retardation is acceleration. Okay, so acceleration is V minus U over T. Final velocity is zero. Initial velocity is 30 and time is two. So this is negative 15 meter per second squared. And retardation, we don't write the negative sign. So that is 15 meter per second squared. That will be retarded. We want mass. Force is mass into acceleration. So 1500 is M into 15. So this will be divided by 15. M is 100 kilogram. A bullet of mass 50 grams moving with the initial velocity 100 meter per second strikes a wooden block and comes to rest. So V is equal to zero and penetrating a distance of two centimeters. That is two upon 100, one upon 50 meters. You have to calculate the initial momentum. So initial momentum is mass into velocity. 50 multiplied by 50 upon 1000 velocity is 100. So one, two, three. That will be five kg meter per second as initial velocity, final momentum. So mass into final velocity, 50 upon 1000 and final velocity is zero. So final momentum is zero. You have to calculate the retardation, V square, U square plus 2AS. So this is zero. This is 100 squared plus 2 into A into S. S is 1 upon 50. So that will be negative 100 into 100 
is equal to two ones are, and this is twenty five. So that is a upon twenty five. So a will be negative ten thousand into twenty five. The next part, uh, they want us to calculate the force. So force is mass into acceleration, and that will be fifty upon one thousand. Acceleration is two five, and there are four zeros. So one two three, one two three, twenty five into five, one two five, and two zero newton. That is the value of force. 